YouTube, YouTube, what's happening? Facebook, what's happening? Instagram, what's happening? The CJ again, just ain't here doing a little work, man. Just doing a little work. So, 431, I think today is the 29th of December. Um, just ain't here back at what I do. I know what the normal thing is. Moving around, messing with vehicles. That's the normal. But anyway, it's CJ the detail guy. In here doing my little second time job. I got another cutter. Y'all seen these cutlasses before. But uh, it's a 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. It's not a brown. I think I went over this before. We got the bucket seats in this one. Center console. Uh, dash, you know, normal setup. Um, it's a restoration car for me. Um, I got some things I got to do to it. I got it with the motor blown and locked up. So what I'm doing in here today is removing the motor. I don't own the rights to this music. Um, so anyway, I'm under it now. As you might can see, I'm under it now. Taking all everything loose, wires loose, uh, motor mounts, everything loose. What I'm gonna be doing is taking this motor and tranny out today. Hopefully I get it out today. And um, check back in with you and let y'all watch the process of this uh, this particular build. Um, it's gonna be a, a G-body motor detail channel. Um, so it's, it's a lot of things y'all gonna see on this channel. Again, I don't own the rights to this music. Um, but again, I'm gonna be doing a lot of vehicles, sorry for all the moving around, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, old school cars, uh, working on a lot of old G-body cutlasses. Um, I got another one over here, I don't know if I showed y'all this one before, but this is a parts car here. I already started pulling it apart. I done sold a few parts so, off, so far, the hood, uh, the trunk. Um, the doors, I'm gonna be taking the doors off of this one, putting on that one. Um, so, both of these doors on this one's good. The motor is actually good in this one. This is a, a, a GM stock 307 um, Oldsmobile motor. Um, and it's still a good motor, so I'm planning on pulling this motor out, tranny out, um, and end up scrapping this car once I, once I pull everything off of it that I know is of value. Um, I'm gonna probably pull the drop the rear end out of this one. Um, it's a lot of rust on this bad boy, a lot of wear and tear on this bad boy. Um, you see that corner over there on that, uh, on that one. But, um, she got some good things to it that can be used. So, of course, I'm gonna pull all that stuff off. But, like I said, the both sets of doors I'm gonna be using those. Um, it does have a decent dash in it. Not the best dash. Uh, some, they put a, a carpet cover over the top of it. So I peeled that off just to see what it looked like. And it's like normal. It's all cracked up like the rest of them be. But in this one, it has the rally gauges, the rally steering wheel. But this is a bench, a 60-40 split in this one. Um, so I'm going to pull the dash out and pull the steering wheels out. The gauges, I'll probably take the gauges off of this one and put in that one. Um, so that's the plan. Um, the door panels on here, they cut all into them, so they're not really too good. You know, you got the split right there with the um, armrest. But, you know, the upper panels are pretty good on these. The upper panels are pretty good. But like I said, they've been putting speakers all in them, so they put holes all down in them things. Um, so headliner in it is excellent though so i'm gonna pull that headliner and these um visors out probably use those all the panels in these and this one is good so i'm gonna pull all the panels out of it um the quarter windows the trim all the trim all the way around the whole car look at them doors y'all let me let y'all see how them doors close look out so yeah very minimal rust on the bottoms of those doors. So we'll be pulling that off. 
the front clip here. The front clip will be for sale. Anybody want this clip, it'll be for sale. The bumper, I need that. I'm going to put that bumper on that car on the front there. Um, but the front clip, the Euro clip lights and all that, that stuff will be for sale. You do need a corner lids on this side, um, but it will be for sale. Um, just random stuff off of this car will be for sale. Little things like the, the uh, windshield cover piece here, that'll be for sale. Um, just different little things um, that'll be on it. Some of this stuff I will use for this one. This is the 442 here. And that one's a work in progress, so I got, got some work to do. Oh, look at this, y'all. I thought this was pretty cool. I've been seeing um, Sandman making hubcap rims, or rims that look like hubcaps. When I got these hubcaps, y'all, that's all I could think about. Look at them joints. Turning them into some rims, some old school Oldsmobile rims. And they are Oldsmobile. They are Oldsmobile wheels, and I got all four of them, so... I will be using those, but I thought that was just cool. So, anyway, the focus today is this one. Y'all know what we're doing to this one. I don't know if I've shown y'all this one before, but y'all know what's happening with this one. Um, this one getting the 400 rebuilt, um, 700 R4 transmission, clean the whole engine bay out, paint it, prep it, paint it, all of that stuff to set up a whole new setup in this one for one of my buddies. So this is a big 74 Caprice. It's a work in progress, but I'm going to at least get the drivetrain and stuff ready for him. So when he get the paint and interior stuff done, he could do that himself. But you know how that go. But um, this is the focus for today, getting this joker together. I got to get this block out of here. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff done at a certain, certain amount of time. Um, so, of course, that block got to go. Um, so... That's what I'm doing today. So, um, YouTube, Facebook, wherever this goes, that's what we got going right now, December. Um, be a lot more of these little videos popping up. Um, Y'all just watch. Stay tuned. Um, also, some detailed stuff. I have some detailed stuff going on. Um, some of the places I do get, a, I see a lot of cars every day. Um, old cars, new cars, customized cars. All types of stuff. So I'll be presenting a lot of that stuff to y'all, letting y'all see just me moving around. And also some lifestyle stuff. Nothing too major. I ain't going to get too deep in my life. But just a little stuff that, that be going on in my little world. All right? But on Facebook, we'll holler at you next time. All right? Go on. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, YouTube? It's CJ. Out. Um, I don't own the rights to this meeting. So I'm going to um, pull this motor all the way out, pull it out, and uh, see what's on it that I might need to take off for. But we almost, we almost where we need to be.
As you can see, it's out hanging over the front side of the car. So, she out. That's that dead 3.8. That dead 3.8. So, she out. Very minimal damage down up in there. Again, I don't own the rights to this music, but very minimal. Uh, I tried to catch as much of the tranny fluid as I could, but you know. But got it all out. I'm gonna clean this engine bay all up good. Let me move this. Glad I got it out, but fine. That thing was getting on my nerves. But um, y'all see it. Got rust down up in there, so I gotta wire wheel that down real good. Um, Y'all see that during firewall. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna go with either the vintage air or another system that I found. What's gonna flatten that wall right there. I ain't gonna have to worry about all that stuff sticking out on the outside and not be able to reach it completely around my motor. But everything out, all the harnesses in, in shape. I ain't cut nothing but a couple couple hoses like right here I cut the power steering hoses that don't matter I'm gonna get some new ones um, and I cut the radio the transmission lines to this transmission right here so I could put this is going to the, the radiator I'm, I'm probably gonna get a new radiator so but it's out as you can see the old block somebody tried to do something with it but not much of nothing going on with this block. Like I said, it's locked up, so it's nothing we're gonna be able to do with this motor anyway. So she going to the jump pile. What I might do is take these uh, motor mounts off. They look pretty new. You can see them right here. Motor mounts. Motor mounts looking pretty new right there. So might take those off. Um, I think this is a 200, a 200 R transmission. Won't know till I look it up, but I think that's what it is, unless somebody threw a, a 350 behind this joke, but I don't think that's what this is. But, um, I don't know. I don't think that's what this is. But, um, I'm gonna get it probably C4. I'm gonna have to look that up. But I don't think it's a 350 trans. Uh, so I ain't even gonna play myself and make myself think it's something else. Um, but the headers is crazy. <laughs> the little things. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to uh, break this thing down a little bit further. And some of this, most of this is going to the scrap yard. So uh, we'll see what, what happens from here with this. So y'all be cool. Got another one out, got another one going. See, this is what I was trying to avoid happening, y'all. See, I got a, my clip redone. So the last thing I want to happen with that is it to break, get cracked, or anything. So that's why I had it covered up. But luckily, we safely got through. All them wires right there coming off. You ain't got to worry about that. Once I take that box out, all them wires is going to be gone. And then only, only only harness on the knee is right here. This harness here got everything that I need for to run this cup right here. Headlights, power, everything. My transmission connectors are all down below. Um, so all of that's good to go, I'm good with that. This stuff right here is mostly um, air conditioning stuff, little, you know, a little miscellaneous little stuff. But I ain't even gonna use this stuff. I'm gonna take all this out here, probably take the wire harness straight through the wall, pull that out, 
um, and just use the system that I figured I found on, uh, online. So um, I might even change that steering box and that steering rod over there. Might change those things. Steering box, my um, uh, lower um, steering column, probably change all that out. I'll put that new Jeep one in there. But as you can see, you know, it's uh, it's work in progress, man. I like doing it, so I ain't tripping off of it. Something to do. Keep me out these streets. Keep me away from around all these funky tail girls. I ain't worried about that anyway, so I got a good one at the crib. But anyway, this is CJ. CJ the Detail Guy. I'm signing out with another video. Gone. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is CJ back again. I'm just out here pressure washing this uh, cutlass, uh, trying to get it together. I've done most of it, but I'm doing the underside of it now, so just want y'all to see how some of this works. I got a little undercarriage cleaner that I'm using to get up under it. I hope y'all can see that. This uh, this what I'm using. This little unit right here. It's the undercarriage cleaner. Getting up under it, getting all the old mud and dirt and stuff like that off of it. But um, it's just a quick, just a quick connect. Just connect it just like that. Two piece. Get up under the cars. It's good for when it's like snow and salt and all that stuff on the road. You can use that to spray some degrease and stuff up under there. Use that and actually clean up under there good. But I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this car. Hold on, y'all. But I ain't edited enough.
right, y'all. Got this bad boy done. Let's see how we looking. Get a close up look on him. For one, that top way cleaner than it was. So, looking a lot better. This part of uh, it don't really matter since I'm doing it at night, but I got most of that junk up off of it. Main thing was this motor. So y'all see how that motor looking. She clean in there now. I went all the way back, if you can see that, through the through the trans tunnel, cleaned up through the trans tunnel. So it's all clean in there now. They're everywhere in there. All your lines, you can see them clearly. No grease all over your fingers when you're working in there. Um, I use Super Clean and a degreaser compound I got called Freedom that knocked most of this out. Uh, but as you can see, she clean. She's pretty clean up in there. So look at that daggone um, stirring box. How clean that stirring box is right there. Right there. Nice and clean. So... Well, she's clean. She's ready to go. So I'm going to push it back in this spot. I'm going to work out some of these wires over here. AC wires. Like I said, I'm going to use a whole different AC unit. So this whole box right there got to come out. So I'm going to take that whole box out, get the uh, plate that goes there, and then I'm going to set the system up for the, the AC and the heat for the inside rather than using that old school box right there. Um, it's an electric system that they created, so I'm going to use that. But um, motor clean, front face cleaned off. Um, you know, cleaned off all that old dirt and bugs and everything that was on this bad boy. So she pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to just take it back in and get it ready for um, the prep work. Um, like I said, I got to get that wall that box out and um put the plate over it once i put get the plate and stuff cleared up or get the plate i'm gonna uh probably scrub that wall down sand that wall down and then we'll paint the whole inside of this um <coughs> this engine compartment right here i probably black it out i ain't doing nothing too crazy but just probably black it out make it real nice on the inside there uh, like i said get it ready for uh, the engine that's going in here engine and transmission so but um that's it y'all i ain't gonna hold y'all too long like i said um just wanted y'all to see the progress of some of these cars i'm working on some of my slow progresses slow progressions if you will if i said that right but some of the stuff i'm waiting on um other people to get their parts done so that i can do what i need to do other than that you know Shoot, if it was in my world, I, I'd be done with it already. So, <laughs> you know how that go. But, um, yeah, this is CJ. Again, just checking out with another video. Um, like I said, this is either going to go up on Facebook or it's going to go up on, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, YouTube, Twitter, something. I don't know. I might put it up somewhere. People said they like looking at this stuff, so I figured I'd put it up there and see what happened. But if not, um, it is what it is. Facebook, you getting the treat. Or well, I guess you you just seeing what I got going on. So, but um, this is CJ checking out with another video. Holla at you, gone. <laughs>